Hello everyone and welcome back to Y for Turbo. So hey, real quick, uh, before I let you know, obviously we are here in NHL 16 be a GM mode with our Edmonton Oilers, but before we jump into stuff, I'm just going to let you know, I've kind of tried um, to wrap my brain around what we can do to keep this like a really good channel for you guys and uh, myself as well. So I think I'm going to start just doing GM modes every single day. Um, and you know, don't hold me to it. Like sometimes maybe I'll, I'll leave a day off, but I feel like we can easily do GM modes every single day and leave one day for like analysis and what we should do, but just keep going and we can just burn through these GM modes. So anyway, here's, uh, here's what we're going to do this video. Obviously in the last video, we were bested, um, by a really good San Jose Sharks team up here in the playoffs. Now we won two games against them, but they inevitably went 4-2 in the series. Uh, so that's no problem. We had a really great uh, regular season, 51 wins as you can see up there, and we're two days away from the draft. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the awards, and then we're gonna check out the team uh, and player stats for the playoffs. So the Dallas Stars won the cup Oh, that's pretty good. They were a decent team. Um, you know, they obviously have Sagan, Ben, and uh, and that kind of really, really great forwards and defense is probably good by now, Klinberg and stuff. President's Trophy goes to Anaheim Ducks, which we were two points behind for that President's Trophy, so we had a really good year. Uh, Clarence S. Campbell went to the Dallas Stars and Penguins, so it was Stars and Penguins there. So let's go to player awards real quick. Art Ross goes to Tavares. That's pretty good. Uh, Sagan got the heart. That's uh, that's kind of a no-brainer, especially if they go on to win the cup. You know that that team has good leadership. Uh, James Norris there with uh, Ekman Larson, which is a cool name to see. Carlson won it two years in a row there. That's pretty cool. Lady Bean goes to Patrick Kane. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's actually that's that's kind of way off. That wouldn't that probably wouldn't have a gentlemanly conduct. Uh, he's not really the best. Not even recent stuff, you know. He's not always the best off the ice. Um, Calder Memorial goes to DeCole over on uh, New York. Eichel got it last year. That's uh, that's kind of cool. Con Smythe goes to Niemi. He won the cup, so that's I that makes sense. Vesna goes to. Mrazek! Look at that! The Vesna here in Edmonton to Peter Mrazek. So, uh, cool. That's pretty good. Nobody, you know, I, I was expecting a lot of commenters to dislike uh, Mrazek coming to the team. Uh, everybody was decently okay with it, you know, at the very least. Uh, people were happy with it. And, you know, there, like, I don't feel like I need to explain myself, but we needed someone with low trade value that a team wanted to ship away. Because we have prospects coming up for goaltending. We have that starter prospect coming up who should be ready next year, hopefully. Keep our fingers crossed, at least for a backup position. And we can use Mrazek until then. Because in 87-88 overall, Mrazek is really going to help this team. Uh, William M. Jennings goes to Mrazek as well. Fewest goals against, scored against. And uh, Bill Masterton goes to Tanev here. Um, I don't really know how they dictate who gets that or if they just randomly pick somebody on a team um i don't know selkie goes to taves which uh no surprise there you know um look, look at all the years taves taves bergeron bergeron taves geez ted Lindsay goes to sagan there uh that makes sense and then richard goes to tavares uh and then who won the ahl the portland pirates win Anything from us? Let's see if there's any player awards real quick. I mean, you know, we can potentially look at these. Oh, Jack Campbell. Uh, I actually... Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Hopefully he can come up and play for some team soon. He's pretty cool. Cool guy. Patan. There we go. Patan got the Fred T. Hunt Memorial Award. What is that? Best player... Uh, sportsmanship okay so cool he's a good player and uh, oh pascal is a uh, goaltender with the lowest goals against average that's awesome cool so we got some good people coming up there and uh 
Um, okay, yeah. Player stats for the playoffs. We're just going to do this real quick. And we're going to jump right into the draft. I'm doing draft and free agents today, so it's not going to be a super long video. Uh, we're just, you know, and if it is, so what? Let's let's have fun. Okay, let's just go by goals real quick. So Glendening got a lot of goals. Uh, this is only, you know, six games, so we got to remember that. So Everly was pretty good for us, and then it kind of trails off here. Um, needed more from Hall. He did get a lot of assists, though. But let's look at points because we got to – I mean, Hall is our shooter, but for some reason he has more assists than goals. But, you know, I was thinking maybe we get another playmaker, a two-way forward on the first line other than Everly. People were saying in the comments, draft some defensive forwards. We need to stop the puck from going in the net. Um, and that's kind of been our mantra, and that's why uh, Peter Mrazek had that fewest goals against and all that stuff, because it's not so much that he's the best goalie in the league. It's that we can p keep the puck out of the net in certain situations. That's the most important thing uh, in hockey, obviously. Keep the puck out of the net and score a goal so you can win. Um, look at that. Dano getting some points. That's pretty good. Uh, he's even. A lot of minuses. And obviously, we're going to see that we lost, uh, you know, four of the six games. So, yeah. So, that that's mostly for the playoffs. If you guys want to check that out further. And then we can go ahead and look at the goalies real quick. Uh, Talbot did play a little bit. And, uh, whoa, what? Why is Talbot up to an 89? what have i gone crazy is this a glitch why is he 89 overall he was 83 guys what happened he has seven goals against why is he he played one game and he lost why is he an 89 overall mrazic's at 87 2.5 that's okay i guess for losing so, yeah, okay, so he played in one of the games that Mraza got pulled, apparently. Save percentage is okay. I mean, we're looking at a losing series here. It's not really that entertaining. You know, it's... We're looking at a losing series. So, uh, if you guys want to look at any other stats or something, let me know in the future. And we can do that. So, I'm just going to look at uh, this real quick before we jump in. Uh, I can't. I can't look at proposed trade or anything like that. That sucks. Uh, can I manage rosters at all? I can look at progress reports. Um, oh, wait. I can do... Um, yeah, yeah. Actually, you guys wanted to see progress reports. Sorry I'm scatterbrained right now. I'm just... I'm really excited to start making more of these GM modes because you guys really like them and I feel really cool about it. Uh, Manberg is up at a 78. Leduck. These are guys who should be down in AHL, but they're up for some reason. He's up at a 75. Uh, Kelly grew a little bit. Um, Clendenning grew... Apparently, Clefbaum gets up pretty high. Somebody said they got him up to an 88. That's insane. He's a top six. That's insane. Um, Ott really helped us out, didn't he? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, in the system, maybe it'll have more people here. Uh, Sean Day up at 72. So maybe not next year. The following year, he'll be up for us. That's no problem at all. Uh, Dry Seidel is a 87. Reinhardt's up to an 86, so that's pretty helpful. I'm really hoping Dryside. Oh, you can't look at it that way. I'm really hoping that he stays as a... Uh, oh, look at Jonesy up at a 71. He'll be good. Really hope that Dryside stays as a second line forward. McDavid is up to a 93. We know he gets good. That's no surprise there. Uh, Nurse should grow. You know, look at all these people are growing, though. I'm just going to slightly just, like, kind of go through. Okay, Slepshev didn't grow, though. That's no, that's no good. But he's up in an 82. He shouldn't get much better. Maybe we can get him up to like an 84, though. That'd be cool. As a third liner, if he stays like a third liner, we could have a third line sniper two-way forward power or, whoa, uh, playmaker line on the third line and have the fourth line be a grind line. That'd be, that'd be nice. But I do like keeping the bottom six nice and defensively minded. So I think we are good. I think uh, we already did the end of the year meeting and everything let's just go into the draft uh i haven't really checked out can we do no we can't we can't do the scout or anything so we got to just go to the draft so let's sim to the draft and get some of this done now um i don't know if i'm gonna make a trade it's gonna be me so let's go right on in and see what pick we have oh look at that red wings got the first pick oh that's sad they probably miss well they probably miss playoffs uh hopefully they just traded up for it and didn't miss playoffs because even though we're edmonton 
we have the 23rd overall pick. So uh, I can look at the scouted players real quick. But I can't look at... Well, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I can do projected. So let's see where we're at here. Come on. Okay, so it's saying that this, uh, this guy will be at least in the top five as a power forward. Nolan Patrick. Patrick Nolan. Isn't that someone? Is that an actor or something? Not sure. Um, anyway, we don't have him scouted too well, but I'm guessing he's going to be elite or a top six forward. Because uh, I don't remember what they said. We only scouted him once. I don't know what they said for this draft class. Um, okay, I know that this guy right here, Stuart Skinner, is only a high starter. Because I watched uh, Johnny Superbman's uh, Let's Play of this. And he picked him up, like, first overall. He only ended up being high starter. So that was a bad one. So we're not going to be able to... We're not even going to be able to get him. But let's, let's count up to 23. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could have just gone by top 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So everybody's calling. Oh, look at this. This goalie could, we don't have him scouted at all. He could potentially be pretty good. It's saying he's going in the first round and he's around where we're at, but somebody might pick him up. Um, this guy right here, though, could be available. He's 18 years old, and we didn't scout him at all, but he's a two-way forward. 6'2", decent body size. Um, we don't have him scouted at all. So, Vaselainen. Vaselainen. And uh, the rest are, like, defensemen. Uh, this whole guy's a sniper. I really would like to get, like, a two-way forward. This guy, he's was scouted three times, and it's saying pretty high he's going to be a bottom six forward. I'm guessing he'll probably be, like, a little better than that. Just because some of the stats are still in the red. Um. Okay, so I'm saying this left winger. This left winger could potentially be pretty good. I'm moving around in my chair so much. Sorry, guys. Um. Yeah, so the SHL, we don't have him scouted at all because I think we just scouted defensemen there. I don't know why we just went straight for defensemen. Um, we could check out this Sallow guy. It's saying he's top six AHL, but we don't have him scouted at all. What the heck? Okay, well, let's just see where we're at because I'm not going to trade up. I think uh, we're good, but we're going to make the first, like, what? Like, four? Let's do the first four picks, and then we'll sim the rest of the draft. Or I'll, I'll make the picks, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cover them at the end. I'll just do the power of video editing. So let's sim to user pick. Because somebody was saying they picked up, like, an elite goalie or a franchise goalie in the fifth round. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Not doubting you, but that's crazy. So let's see who went first overall. I know we got a time limit, but we'll make one quick. So this Patrick guy, yep, he's a top six. Not even an elite. Uh, this Scott is a high starter. So, yeah, this is not the best draft class. Uh, Comto Comtois, top six. Yeah, look, high starter for Skinner. But look at that. The first elite to go, Lil Gren is an elite two-way defender for Boston. Man, he's going to be huge for them. That's awesome. Another top six, top six. There's a top four. Uh, there's another Strom. I'm just looking for elites. There we go. Uh, Calvin Foote, I think his name was. I was looking at him because he was up around where we were as a defender. Two-way defender elite. I, I would have probably not picked him because I wouldn't have thought he would have been that good. But, uh, man, that's a steal. Weedman, uh... Ooh, they got kind of burnt on that 7th D. So, yeah, and then top six, top nine. So, let's make the pick for this two-way forward. I think he's still on the board unless I missed him. Let's go. Let's go. This is exciting. We're going to do a good draft this year. This is going to be a good one. Um. Okay, so... Oh, did he get picked up? Did he get picked up? No! I think he got picked up, guys. Dang it. That sucks. Well, there's this center two-way forward, first, second rounder. Dang. He's totally unknown, though. Totally unknown. That's... I don't... No, nah, I don't think I... I think we should just get him. It's saying first, second round. Six... He's... He's a center two-way forward. I mean, let's say we get a top six or a top nine. He can play the third line center. I just, 
if you guys have any um really cool like tips for scouting please let me know because I, it seems like i'm never prepared for the draft and it really sucks and i don't want to just go look up what the people actually are i actually want to like use the game look at this guy his name's poot um okay you know what let's just get him i wanted a two-way forward he's the only two-way forward available except for this right wing down here who's exact bottom six so this guy will take we'll roll the dice let's see what he is oh god top nine okay so that's uh his she his sheer if you guys know anything about him, let me know. But I don't know if you would because he's a medium top nine. So he could potentially get to, uh, you know, a top six type of player. But I don't I don't know. Not not the absolute best. So let's sim to our next pick. I just want to see the end of the first round as well and see if we missed out on any uh, elites. So end of the first round here. End of the first round. Come on. This game is pretty slow, but it's all good. It's all good. So, uh, they got a high starter there in DiPietro. Uh, top six, bottom six. Oh, there was an elite. That's center playmaker. Shoot, I should have picked him up, even though I didn't. That's the thing, though. I didn't need a playmaker. So, it's like, cool, I would have gotten a... Could have gotten a really good trading asset. That sucks. Maybe I should just go for the best overall player. I don't know. Do we want to... Do we want to go that route of just trading, trading players? I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's uh, it's one of those things. It's kind of like, is it sacrilege to like say that we're just picking a guy up just to trade him? I don't know. I'm sure teams have done it before. So I don't know if we pick up. I mean, this is a po there's two power forwards here, wingers. We were looking for defensive forwards, right? And it says they're AHL players, though. This guy's 19, so he can play in the AHL. But I don't think he'd be... I think this guy's going to be like a top nine. These guys are both like top nine, probably. Mm. Do I have... Okay, let me look at this real quick. Do I have anybody... Okay, this seventh D. That's the highest I have. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Let's just do projected. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. These are both decent players. Let's do... Let's do the Russian. Let's do the Russian right winger. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bottom six forward. Okay. That's not, that's not bad, but you know. There'll be decent trade value, I guess. Ah, I just wish our first pick we had got that elite. This is not a deep draft. It's it's hard. It's it's really hard. So I think this next pick, let's try to we're in the third round. Let's try to pick up a defenseman, but let's not like if there's a goalie or something, you know, let's let's try to keep our heads not just on uh this guy's name's McCool and he's going undrafted. Oh god, the best names. Come on, it's just a slow game. Okay, this left winger, he's an enforcer. No, he's he's not going off the board. I don't need an enforcer. Um, sniper power forward to a defender. This McFadden guy. It says I have him drafted a little or uh, scouted. Um, hmm, this guy might actually be pretty good. He's got high, uh, low physical stars, but it looks like he's mostly a shooting defenseman. I've scouted him four times, and it says he's high HL top four. I feel like he'll be like a seventh D. We don't need a seventh D. I mean, maybe, but you know what? Shoot. There's a, I wish this wasn't another center two-way forward. We can also look at this guy real quick. Do we have him scouted at all? We do. One time. He's 20, though. I don't think that would be good. Um, let's look at Burns real quick. Zero times got it, and he's 20. Dang it. Okay. I think maybe we'll go with this McFadden guy. I... Shoot. I, I don't know. I just don't want to, like, go for... Maybe this power forward. No, I don't even have him scouted. He is young, though. Don't know if I want to go for, like, a snipe or anything like 
that. He's got this guy one time. So he's got 92 slap shot accuracy, but that's low. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, look, his actual like medium stats and defensive awareness are like 66, and then his defensive awareness is 59, but that's low. But still, he could have really high defense. It says medium, like four and a half star defense. See, I just don't know how to read all this like super well. Because if we had a, a sniper who's going to be like a top or like a bottom six forward who has defensive awareness of like 86 plus, I would run a sniper on the third or fourth line because of that defensive awareness, you know, but it, his physical is pretty low too, but you know, that's not always a huge deal. But I think I'm going to go with McFadden. We're going to see uh, how this plays out. Let's, let's remember this guy's name, Lilicus, but McFadden, we're going in. Top two. That sucks. AHL top two. That sucks. Oh, I thought he'd be at least be. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Sim to user pick. I'm never good at drafts. It, it's it's other places we got to make the uh, make the splash. So let's do uh, what? Two more picks, and then I will go ahead and I'll I'll do it myself, but I'll do it off camera. I'll I'll make picks and we'll see if if we get something that's really good. I'll let you guys know. Here's this goalie. I don't think. Kyria. I don't think he'll turn out to be anything. It looks like that one guy got picked. Um, maybe a grinder here. Lawson. Do I have him? Two times. I've scouted him. His defense is decent for like an 18-year-old. Um, you know, yeah, let's pick him up. Three and a half stars. He should make the NHL, right? Right? Bottom six forward. Okay, cool. A grinder. And I want a grinder. I want a grinder on the fourth line really bad. So that's a good pick. That's actually a really good pick. P. Lawson. Was it Patrick Lawson? Sorry. Okay, fourth round. This will be, um, should be our last pick that I make on camera. But let's try to get a, let's see if we can get a skilled forward. Uh, but it really depends on what's here. I mean, somebody said they got a franchise goalie in the fifth round. Oh, uh, isn't Will Bitten? Will Bitten is on Flint. The Flint Firebirds. And I thought he was a grinder, not a playmaker. I kind of just want to get him just because I like the Firebirds. And that would be cool. Um, there's also some defensive defensemen. The sniper could be cool. Oh, man, this sniper's got some really good stats, actually. High puck skills, high senses, decent shooting, um, good skating, and then physical and defense are low, but, I mean, he's a sniper. Dang, dude. No league interest for Holden. So maybe he'll be available later. So let's remember Holden, the left winger. No league interest. Um, I think we should try to go for Bitten, though. Because I know that he's like a decent player. Let's try it. Let's just try it. And, you know, maybe it's my um, HL top six. I thought he was at least like a bottom nine or a bottom six forward or whatever it was. Whatever. Sim options. Let's remember that Holden guy. I may be blowing it just because I like Will Bitten in real life. So you have the 23rd pick in the fourth round, which is the 113th overall pick. But uh, let's see. We'll, we'll do this, and this this should be our last pick on camera. And then I'll let you guys know what I got after this. Okay, so yeah, he must have gotten picked up. We get Brizgalov here. But look at this guy. Uh, he's a defensive defenseman. 6'6". Six, six. Wow. 6'6 six, six and not even 200 pounds. We'll pick him up. Cool. So that's our last pick there. And uh, HL top two, so he might get to like high 70s. Okay, so I'm going to make the rest off camera. So I'll see you guys in one moment. Okay, so our entry draft is complete. And uh, for the most part, afterward, after uh, Bitten, it was uh, mostly AHL forwards. Um, I tried to fill in like some left wing positions and stuff like that. So mostly it'll be guys who we probably don't sign. Um potentially i don't know um i would like to see how high we could get maybe it's kind of an experiment but we could see like will bitten being a top six ahl forward maybe we could see how high we can get him 
Uh, that might be a cool thing because I, I don't know. I like Bitten, but I feel like maybe we could have done a lot better. But that's every year at the draft. We don't always draft very well um, just because I'm not really sure how to. So let's go in and check out our contracts. I will do all the work off camera, but we will uh, we will check out who is expiring right now. Out of all the rosters, who is expiring? So uh, I think we can... Uh, this Budic guy, Day, we can finally sign, which uh, I'll do that in a minute. So Day is going to be on our AHL squad at 19 years old. He will be, I'll put him in the top two. I want him to get great. Um, we can also sign this Jensen guy. He'll get a little bit better. He can be a top six. Um, and Coleman, no, we won't sign yet. So uh, I'll also check out the other, um, you know what, let's just go to, what, not that, unsigned. Unsigned, unsigned, unsigned. So, uh, nope, no, uh, Budic, uh, yeah, we could sign, um, probably not that guy. No, yes. No, no. Anybody who's like under a certain age, we won't sign. Um, I mean, we could sign LaPointe just to fill out some spots, but he's only 55 overall, so probably not. McFadden we could yeah we should sign McFadden see how high he can get up and then that's it for that so let's go back to all expiring and just look through so we get down here bear um we'll probably drop him uh Gazdick we could potentially sign as an enforcer uh Donovan uh I feel like we could sign him we could keep him down on the condors he might get mad but we could keep him down there just to help out Glendening I would like to sign Gordon I'd like to sign for a few more years uh, yes we need to sign Jones because he's 20 now clink hammer we should sign just to help out down there Ott, we could sign potentially he'll probably drop actually so maybe we drop him to free agency we can find a, a left winger it's just those face the face offs have already dropped so we know that he's uh, or no he was 88 he wasn't 90 face off so yeah uh, he will probably drop at preseason uh, party we can sign we just need some old guys to like help mentor the AHL so far it's been a lot of that uh, Bo Belu, I always forget uh, Callahan we could sign he's still growing a little bit Dano yes we need to sign dry settle so yeah dry settle will be the first one we try to get signed uh, Felino we gotta sign this guy uh, we could sign him this guy also is like a eh, you know Lander, we definitely got to sign. Uh, Manberg, yes, we can sign. He'll get better. Uh, this guy, yes. Sure. Reinhardt, definitely. Man, we got a lot of contracts to do. So we, we got to make sure to uh, save some money on these. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So I will... Oh, let me look at... um. forgot to look at goalies real quick. Who's expiring goalie-wise? Pascale. Geely's and uh, Ludstrom. So Ludstrom I can drop. I could potentially keep Pascal. He wants a one-way contract though, so we'll have to figure that out. But um, cool. I will talk to you guys in one moment. Okay, guys. We're back here at the contract screen. So I got Drysidle locked up 5.7 for a few years. Now, um, if he ends up getting like really crazy and we have to trade him because we want to keep McDavid around, that's fine, but I feel like 5.7 is a very fair price for what he's going to be able to achieve. At 21 years old, already 87 overall, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, Reinhardt, we got for a matching contract, and I feel like even though he's an 86, his style of play, as in defensive, is a little more worth uh, than uh, Drysaddle. Even though Drysaddle is that two-way forward, uh, you know, he's a good player. Um, who else? Uh, Bolu or Belu? We got for 3.3. Uh, Felino we got for 2.075. Dano we got for 1.3. Gordon we got 1.2. I just figured we would have picked up a free agent that would have been more expensive than Gordon, so I just gave him one year. Party we picked up as depth. Lander we got for less than a mil. Clean Cammer. Um, Akamov is going to be down there. These guys will probably be down. Uh, you can just check out all these random dudes. Uh, it sucks that Davison. Davison was signed before we even came in, so we got one more year, 1.4, and then next year we will uh, we can decide what to do with him. Probably drop him. 
and then if we go into um, in the system, I think it'll show more. Yeah, McDavid's in the system, but uh, yeah, McDavid's contract runs out next year. And we got to pay him big, big money. Glenn Denning, we got back for 0.9. Um, who else did we get? If you guys see somebody that maybe, oh yeah, Day we signed. He'll be in the AHL. Jones. Just more of these guys who are unsigned. So, yeah. Um, and then go to main roster. We'll check out goalies real quick. Really quick. Uh, so, Talbot is for some reason 89. I, guys, I don't know what happened. Is this a glitch? Does this happen? Because if he stays 89, this is amazing. And uh, we, we got to trade him now. We got to trade him. Because I feel like it's going to. We can't keep him. No way. What, why did that happen, guys? Why did that happen? Let me know. Uh, Gillies is already an 82, and Pascal is an 80, and then Brassois is the backup. So Talbot, something happened, but I think we got to trade him. with. We got to just use that. He's running on high for some reason. He's going crazy. So we are here at free agency. So let's just take a look at some free agents. I'm just going to probably... You know what? Since we're going to upload tomorrow, I'm going to end the video with just showing you who's available and you guys let me know. So this should be up tonight, uh, which is uh, Monday. And then you guys just let me know who I should pick up. And on Tuesday, we will have a GM mode. So um, we got Datsuk here who wants way too much. Um, he only wants one year, though, but we don't need a center. Shan Kirk might be kind of cool. I don't I mean, we've got ten million dollars, so. What do we really need? Uh, Marlowe, Vanek, Hansel. Uh, oh, Johnson. That might be actually pretty cool. He gets pretty good. Um, I didn't think he'd be available this early. Usually he's up at like an 89 at this point, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, Williams might be a cool like score for us. I just don't think we need any of these higher guys. Maybe some depth, but that's really it. Um, ooh, Eric Howla. He's restricted, though. But if we could get him, that could be a cool replacement to, uh, tomorrow, next year, for uh, if he does get a lot better. Potentially, he could get really good this year, especially with a good playoff run. If he's up at, like, an 87 and stays a second liner his whole entire career, we could just replace Drysaddle with him. But that would mean we need a really good run. Uh, Teravainen might be pretty cool. Restricted, though. It's just like, what do we got to give up to get him? That's the thing, you know. Uh, now we're getting down in these fourth liners. Garba, let's check this guy out. 82, grinder. Uh, I'd like better defensive awareness, but that's kind of cool. I'd rather have him at 82 than an 80 overall clean camera. Tange still wants a contract. Now we're getting down into stuff that's usually left over for a while. Nestor Sill. I'll just keep going. Lindbergh. Yeah, he's restricted. Dang it. Just keep going just so you guys can see. Now we're getting into pretty low, but possibly depth. We're, I'll also probably just sign some random guys that have decent potential. That's what we'll look at right now. And then we'll go look at... Um, so Hollow is the only elite. But we could sign some of these uh, like younger, lower overall guys for the AHL squad just to uh, kind of fit them in. I'll just go through real quick. You guys can just check it out if you want to, you know, stop the video or something. We can go with all that. So that's there. So let's just, uh, whoops, not that one. Let's just look at goaltenders real quick, and then we will go ahead and end this video. So we're looking at uh, potential. So Bishop is available, and then it's Scriven. So it's a pretty big drop-off. So it looks like Tampa Bay is purging so they can afford Stammer. Um, that's no problem. Uh, Helberg might be a cool guy to pick up just to may maybe if we do move Talbot. But Talbot must have a ton of uh, trade value. Let's just look at that real quick. You guys let me know if this is something that usually happens. Does he just jump? There's no way. Like, it's insane. He's at 89 overall. When did this happen? Look at Talbot's trade value, guys. We... Do we just keep Talbot? He's 89 overall. He's, will he drop? 
I don't know. I'm not going to do anything until you guys let me know, but this is weird. Um, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> hey, without, uh, without stalling for too much longer, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you dug it. Uh, subscribe here on y for turbo for daily videos. We'll do daily GM modes. And what I'm saying is we do GM modes every single day, no matter what. And then we'll also add, like, maybe a second video or something. So, uh, cool. Let me know what you guys think about an 89 overall Cam Talbot. I didn't edit him, I swear. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. He was just, he was an 83 in the playoffs. And then I went to go look at it. He's an 89 all of a sudden. I didn't do anything. I, I haven't even played this game since the last time I played GM mode. I don't know what's happening. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you dug it. We'll see you next time out on the end.